हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू बेस्ट टेक्निक चैनल प्लीज लाइक कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल थैंक यू टॉप टिप्स फॉर वैलिडेटिंग योर मेंबरशिप साइट आइडिया When inspiration hits you and you come up with an idea for a membership website that you are convinced is a winner, it can be all too easy to get carried away with trying to make it a reality. Unfortunately, this can result in a lot of wasted time. If you don't stop to examine whether or not your idea is solid, follow these tips that will help you validate your idea for a membership site. Tip number 1: Don't rely on the opinions of friends. While it is entirely understandable that you want to run your ideas past your friends and family to get feedback on your idea, it is rare that they will provide you with honest feedback. To start, they care about you, so they will temper their input so that they don't offend you, even if they think that your idea won't work. Plus, they aren't the best indicator of your target audience, and they won't have a genuine understanding of the market you're trying to target. Tip number 2: Research what's already out there. There's no better way to validate your idea than if somebody else is already doing something similar. If you find that there is already some competition in your market, it's a good sign that your idea is worth pursuing. If you come up with an idea where there is no indication, it could mean that the supply and demand don't exist and that it wouldn't be a viable business. Tip number 3: Start collecting leads early. The main thing that you will be trying to validate is that there are people out there who will be interested in your knowledge on a specific subject. The best way to confirm your idea is to find people that are interested and capturing their interest when they submit their email address to indicate that they want more information. Tip number 4: Test the market. You can offer people a minimum variable product to test their interest level in what you're providing. A minimum variable product is an offering in the same vein as your intended final product. that targets the same audience but that doesn't require as much upfront work, time or financial obligation to get going. Before you spend your precious time and energy setting up your first membership site, be sure to follow these tips to ensure that your idea is worth pursuing. In this tutorial, I'm going to provide you with the top questions you need to ask before you start your first membership site. Creating a membership site isn't for the faint of heart. While there are dozens of benefits, you have to look at your ability to follow things through. Too many people have half-finished sites and aren't able to get around to finishing them and releasing them. If you're willing to put in the effort, here are some essential questions that you need to ask before you get started. Who is your target market? This is the most critical question that you need to ask before starting your first membership site. If there is no market for your product, then there is no point in wasting your time creating a website. It's important to keep in mind that your target market doesn't have to be huge. If you can create a super niche site that involves a specific problem, you'll have a greater chance at success. Does the site exist already? It doesn't matter if the answer is yes or no. What matters is that you are aware of the answer. If there are other sites like yours, then it means there is probably a market for the information. To make sure that you get ahead of the competition, You need to find a unique spin that you can utilize to appeal to members of the other sites. If a similar site doesn't already exist, then you'll have to spend more time determining your target market. How much time do you have? Creating a membership site will take a lot more than offering a simple ebook. Many aspects go into the development of the site, as well as the management of the back end. You need to have at least 10 hours a week to devote to your site if you want to be successful. Will you charge a one-time fee or recurring payment? This question drives the entire content creation process. If you decide to charge a reoccurring fee, then you have to continue to provide new, relevant content on a regular basis. If you charge a one-time fee, you can charge more, but you will have to have a well-defined program. There are plenty of other things that you will need to consider before starting your membership site, but these are some of the most important questions to consider. If you have a robust response to each of these questions, you'll be well on your way to building a successful membership site. In this presentation, I'm going to show you the best types of content to include in your membership site. A membership website is nothing more than a value exchange. As long as you continue to deliver value to your members, they'll continue to give benefit to you in the form of continued subscription payments. So what content can you include in your membership site? To ensure that you keep up your side of the bargain, here are the best kinds of content to add to keep your subscribers happy. Course. 
A common type of content that you will find on membership sites are online courses. If you are teaching one or more subjects with a specific start and end point, along with well-defined learning objectives and outcomes, then turning this into a course will serve your subscribers well. The course can either be short, around 30 minutes or longer, spanning several hours. Webinars If you don't want to develop your content upfront, then you can run live webinars or training calls on a regular basis. The webinar format is also the perfect way to encourage discussion among those attending and is suited to bringing in guest experts. Member Calls Another live format that you can use is a member Q&A call, or what is known as a mastermind call. The structure and arrangement of the mastermind call can vary according to the kind of topic or community that you have, but it should be focused on providing your members an opportunity to ask questions and highlighting and sharing their success. Content Archives The downside of providing live content is that you need to attend live to get the most benefit. To help with this, you should be recording all of your live sessions and adding them to an archive inside your site. This will ensure that if a subscriber misses the live session, that they won't lose out. This will also provide you with a valuable backlog of material that you can give new members, increasing the value of your membership offering. Downloads Offering your members exclusive downloads, especially if it is resources, software, or tools that aren't accessible elsewhere, or you would have to pay a premium to access. In some instances, the convenience of packing up resources that people would have to spend time gathering themselves will add enough extra value. These are just some of the types of content that you should consider adding to your membership site. The most successful websites are those that have a mix of material. In this presentation, I'm going to discuss the five most compelling membership sites for you to start. If you want to start a membership site but don't know what you want to do, several compelling ideas can get up and running in no time. If you have a WordPress self-hosted site and a WordPress membership plugin, you can get up and running with very little expense and time. Here are the five best membership sites that you can start and find success. The Evergreen Site The Evergreen membership site is probably the most common one to get into. The content on these sites is relevant for a more extended period. This kind of site will typically provide information to members a little bit at a time over a set period. This kind of site is excellent if you are sharing articles or information that doesn't require you to spend time on upkeep. Dripping out your information in this way will keep your members coming back often and provides you with the opportunity to sell them higher level packages or products. The Community Site A community membership site will keep your members engaged by helping them connect and engage with each other. Protected forums and communities can create some of the most loyal memberships of any of these membership site ideas. Community forums are great for your members to have the ability to interact with one another, discuss your products, and get their questions answered. The Courses Site If you have suitable material, you can lock down your courses and protect the privacy of your students. This is accomplished by creating memberships-only areas on your site. Those participating in your sessions can be given a password to log on to these private areas. Once you upload your content, you're good to go. When you keep all your course material in one place, you eliminate the need to send videos, workbooks, and essential updates individually. The Buffet Site This type of site provides its members with access to all of the content that is available at the same time for a recurring fee. This is similar to the Evergreen model, but without the slow release of information. This kind of site usually works best for protected, embedded video content. Keeping your content relevant to this type of site is essential. The Content Mill Site This is a very lucrative but extremely labor-intensive membership site model. Starting this kind of membership site will require you to set up a system for delivering relevant content regularly. This could be anything from a podcast to a full-scale periodical. You'll want to think about your domain of expertise and see which area makes the most sense for your business. How to save money when running your membership site Membership sites have a lot of moving parts when it comes to building and running them that the cost can quickly add up. From hosting your site to your email marketing services, marketing and advertising services, and software licenses. Here are several ways you can save money when running your membership site. Save on software. Most of the membership sites run on WordPress. With WordPress, 
You'll have to pay for the plugin or services that are required to run a sales page, create pop-ups, and develop opt-ins for your site. These plugin options can quickly add up because you have to purchase a license to use them. These providers of the plugins will present you with some options for your license. Unless you are planning on building more than one website, resist the urge to purchase a multi-computer license. Save on outsourcing. If you are planning on building a team to help you run your membership site, make sure that you take the time to develop processes for the tasks that you're outsourcing. Develop step-by-step -step instructions of the process to not only help you streamline your business, but to make sure it is done as efficiently and effectively as possible. Stop using Facebook Boost. If you want to save money on running your membership site, then you need to stop randomly boosting your posts on Facebook. Every time you hit the boost button, you spend $5 to $10, which can add up if you're not careful. You need to have a plan if you're going to invest in Facebook advertising. Seek out advice on how to best utilize Facebook advertising and stop hitting the boost post button. Limit the number of memberships you join. While you should join other membership sites to see how they work and determine what works and what doesn't, you'll want to limit the number you join. If you're going to develop your own membership site, joining two or three other sites will help you gain inspiration and see what works, but any more than that and it will get to be too expensive. When it comes to saving money on running your membership site, it's important to make sure that you are reviewing your expenditures every month to determine if they are still worth the money. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to boost membership retention on your membership site. Membership retention should begin the second a member joins your site. The better you can onboard your members, the more likely they will be to renew. Here's how to effectively onboard your new members and increase the likeliness that they'll renew. The first month. When you gain a new member, it is essential that you reach out to them in a timely manner. You want to be proactive and responsive without being too spammy. You can do this by spreading out your communications. Make sure to send a welcome email with their new login credentials to the members only portal. Make sure you've posted a hearty welcome on your site and follow up with a phone call. Use social media to welcome your new members and prepare to welcome them in your next newsletter officially. The second month. During the second month, you need to deepen the connection with your new members and strengthen their sense of belonging within your company. Take the time to create unique and personal touch points for each of your new members. Consider sending a personal note. Be sure to be authentic with this as your members will appreciate it. Set up a forum or other personalized areas for your new members. Then engage with them in conversation every week and answer any questions they might have. The third month. To boost retention, it is critical that you engage with your new members as soon as possible. By the end of this third month, you should have welcomed, connected, and engaged with each new member in a meaningful way. You can continue to boost retention by sending new members with a calendar of your upcoming events, or reach out to your new members to discuss how their membership is going. You can use this moment to mention upcoming events, referrals, and specific ways they can get involved. Utilizing this three-month strategy on your membership site will help you to build the connections you need with each new member. Establishing a personal and unique relationship with your new members will increase the likelihood that they will continue to subscribe to your content, effectively boosting your membership site retention numbers. 5 Tips for Running a Successful Membership Site there are a lot of advantages to running a membership site, especially if the product you sell is content. Here are five tips that you can use for running a successful membership site that will continue to provide you with profits month after month. Offer a free trial period. To gain new members and give them a glimpse into what they can expect when they sign up for your membership site, you can offer a free membership or a trial period for a premium membership. Extending a trial period for premium membership is a great way to convert your users into paying customers. Provide a variety of membership options. Providing more than one membership option is a great thing for your subscribers. The number of membership options that you offer will depend on your business model and what you can provide. It is good to have various options that will match your target audience's needs and will give them a choice that will not only match their needs but their budget. 
It is recommended to have two to three membership options for an average membership site. Reward loyal members. Any business, whether brick and mortar or online, should reward their loyal customers with exclusive offers and rewards. Not only is this nice to receive when you use a product or service regularly, but it will also prompt members to upgrade to a specific membership level so they can obtain these incentives. Gather feedback from your members. All membership sites are driven by their community. Many times finding the sweet spot for customers is a process of trial and error. To continue to provide your members with the best possible experience, you need to continue to add material to your site that your members will find interesting and useful. You can ask your members to fill out a survey and see what members are saying about your site on the various social media platforms. Find a niche and crush it. Don't overcomplicate your membership site by trying to offer everything you can think of to reach a broader audience. If your membership site is for those wanting to get rid of household chemicals, stick with that. It is essential that you find what works and stick with it. Membership sites are great because they bring together like-minded people. They are a great way to generate passive, reoccurring income for your business or blog. Keep these five tips in mind as you start your first membership site. In this presentation, I'm going to share five tips for creating and running your first membership site. With a membership site, your business can have a private website with exclusive content and the ability for subscribers to interact with one another, all while paying you a monthly fee. If you want to start your first membership site, here are five easy-to-use tips to help you create and run the site and find business. Tip number one, start before you believe you're ready. When it comes to creating and running your first membership site, you'll never be completely ready, but you'll want to start anyway. If you are unsure whether or not you have enough to offer, you can start with a ridiculously low membership fee and let your charter members know that you will be testing your idea on them and that you would love to hear their thoughts and feedback. Tip number two, learn from sites you belong to. If you belong to any membership sites, then you can learn from what they've done. Maybe they offer monthly seminars and monthly Q&A calls. If there are things on the membership site that you don't like, ask yourself what you would do differently. If you've never subscribed to a membership site before, consider joining one for a couple of months to see how they work. Tip number three, interact and engage with customers. Members will have a much stronger incentive to join if they know that they will have access to you. This could mean offering live webinars and seminars where members can ask you questions, forums where you post regularly, or a private Facebook group where you chat with your members. Tip number four, run group challenges and events. If you've provided a ton of great content, but your members don't seem to be engaging with the content, you may want to consider running a group challenge or event. Many people find it easier to stay motivated and on track when working within a group. The events don't need to be big to get people involved. Tip number five, give out a few free memberships. If you have potential members who you'd like to have on board, but who aren't able to afford your fees, consider letting them in for free. They might be people who leave thoughtful comments on your blog regularly or tweet your posts. These kinds of people are often your greatest fans. If you want to start a membership site, consider incorporating these tips into your overall plan and build a powerful membership site. In this presentation, I'm going to present the four essential keys to building a successful membership site. Building and running a successful membership site takes time and dedication. When you consider these four essential keys when planning your membership site, you'll be able to capture the right customers and create a successful business. Here are the four most important keys to consider as you build your first membership site. Set your prices in support of your business. Your most valuable strategic weapon for your membership site is your pricing. This is because it is tied to the three fundamental strategies for growth, acquiring new subscribers, increasing the value of existing members, and reducing your member churn. You can tier your subscription pricing strategies according to functionality, metered according to usage levels, discounted to incentivize bulk purchases, or optimized to reward loyalty. Start with two or three basic tiers and adjust as you learn what your customers want. Acquire customers across all channels. 
Signing up for your membership site should be a seamless experience for your users that can be accomplished across multiple channels, including online, mobile, or via an assisted sale. It is essential for you to establish a simple, fast, and automated acquisition workflow across multiple channels. Nurture and develop deeper customer relations. If you have a membership site, you're in the business of customer service. Strong customer relationships should be at the core of your membership site model. Without them, there will be no sustainable, reoccurring revenue growth. As your customer base grows, this will become the most important key to remember. Scale with mission-critical infrastructure Large membership sites need to have a reliable, enterprise-grade system in place with services that are created on secure, mission-critical, and scalable infrastructure. You should build your network with 24-7, 365-day operations and assured business continuity. Look for affordable, scalable, and easy implementable back-end solutions. If something doesn't work out, you can drop it and move on to something else. Focusing on these four keys for building a membership site will help you create and make a successful business that will continue to grow and provide you with a passive income. Three things you need to consider to start your membership site. Starting a membership site can be one of the most exciting online income tools that you can use to make passive income. You can use a membership site in just about any niche you can think of. When it comes to the online world, simplicity and quick action are essential. Until you test your idea, you will never know if it is viable. So, you want to opt for rolling something out and improving upon it as you go. Here are three things to consider when starting a membership site. Use password-protected pages. To keep things simple as you get your site established, use password-protected pages. WordPress makes this extremely easy to do. Having password-protected pages allows you to provide the same password to everyone in an automatic email after they've subscribed. This way, you don't have to come up with separate passwords for each member that subscribes to your site, leaving you with more time to create the content for your newly subscribed members. Use the PayPal subscription button. PayPal has a handy feature that will allow you to set up add to cart buttons that will automatically charge your customers for you on a monthly basis. All you need to do is set up the parameters for the payments and let PayPal do the rest. This is an excellent option because you get your payments instantly and can utilize the money any way you want. Use an autoresponder service. Using an autoresponder service will allow you to provide content regularly a little bit at a time. It can provide a way for you to keep your customers with you through the entire length of service that they've signed up for. You can set up each email to contain a description of that week's content and a link to the web page where your content is set up. You can set up the service to email your members every seven days from the day they originally signed up. Creating a successful membership site will take some upfront time and work to get it ready to roll out. However, once everything is established, you'll get to sit back and enjoy a substantial flow of monthly passive income.